Are you excited? <laughs> we have three muscles left. Oh, glory days. We are moving our foot and our toes, and we have three of them here, and are you ready for them? First of all, tibialis next to the tibia, anterior on the anterior surface. That was really unclear, but this is my muscle. That's tibialis anterior. Tibialis anterior, contract your tibialis anterior right now, and what did you just do? You just dorsiflexed your foot. And um, our attachments, we actually are attaching to the lateral aspect of the tibia, and we're attaching all the way down to metatarsal numero uno. So um, it's kind of a little bit of a cross action going on, and that results in um, some inversion that tibialis anterior is also responsible for. The last two, that's it on the front. Now we're going to do the back side. We have gastrocnemius, gastrobelly. I can't remember what gastrocnemius means. It actually has two bellies. I don't know why we don't call it, never mind, focus, gastrocnemius. Gastrocnemius attaches to the lateral and medial condyles of the, the femur, not the humerus. And so that's its proximal attachment. Its distal attachment is the calcaneus. And the calcaneus, this is technically called the calcaneal tendon, more commonly known, more popularly known as the Achilles tendon. Don't bust that thing. You'll be very sad because it isn't just gastrocnemius that's attached to the Achilles tendon. Check it out. You also have soleus, and soleus is one of those things right in there, but maybe soleus got whacked on that picture. Soleus is like a flat fish, and those don't look like flat fish to me. This is soleus. Soleus did get whacked. See how I cut it right here? Soleus is a flat fish that um, cut. You can actually see soleus right there. It's, it's deep to gastrocnemius. They both attach to the calcaneus through the calcaneal tendon. Um, and what? Let's see where soleus attaches. Um, the head of the fibula. So it's, it's not crossing to joints because gastrocnemius is crossing two joints. We are going to be responsible for not only plantar flexion, but also some leg flexion at the knee. Now, you, <laughs> hopefully that was a helpful experience. And if not, hopefully you didn't watch it. All right, that's it, you guys. I'll be seeing you later to look at dead bodies.